Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Mathematics. On our last lectures, we come to know about the permutation, combination and their specific properties. Now, it is the problems related to permutation and combination. So, the first problem is how many different signals can be made by 5 flags from 8 flags of different colors. There are total 8 different flags of different colors. Among them, we want to make a signal of 5 flags. So, it is very obvious it can be 8P5. So, this is the arrangement and its value is this one. In the next problem it is, in a class of 10 students, there are 3 girls, A, B and C. In how many different ways can they be arranged in a row such that no two of the 3 girls are consecutive? So, no two girls are consecutive means 10 students are there, among them 3 girls. That means total 7 boys are there. So, 7 boys are there means uh, they can be arranged. So, 7 boys can be arranged in 7 factorial ways. So, now 7 factorial ways means there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 total possibilities of the arrangement. So, 7 places are there to arrange the boys. Now, the 3 girls are there. And for these three girls, how many different places are there to place those girls? So the first place we can place a girl here or here or here. So these are the all possible ways where the girls can be arranged. So these are how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So there are total 8 positions are there where we can place these three girls. So in 8 positions, 3 girls can be uh, placed in 8 P3 ways. So, the total number of arrangement is 7 factorial into 8 P3 factorial. The next problem is how many words can be formed using the letter A thrice, that means A occurs 3 times, the letter B twice, B occurs 2 times, and the letter C occurs thrice. So, this is A, B, and C. So, the how many different letters we can form? So here total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 options we have. So n is equals to 8. Now a repeated 3 times. So that is 3. b repeated 2 times and c repeated 3 times. So according to the formula it is 8 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 2 factorial and 3 factorial and hence the result. Next problem is in how many ways 5 rings can be the in how many ways 5 rings of different types can be worn in five, 4 fingers. There are 4 fingers and 5 rings. How many ways we can form it? So look, the first ring can be worn in any one of the 4 fingers. So there are 4 ways of wearing it. Similarly, each one of the other rings can be worn in 4 ways. So this is the repetition of the rings can be possible so that it is n to the power r or it is 4 to the power 5 ways are here. Now the next question is, a new flag is to be designed with 6 vertical strips using 4 colors. In how many can this be done so that no two adjacent strips have the same color? So the answer for any one of the 4 colors can be used to color the first strip and the second strip can be colored using 3 colors excluding the first one. The third strip can also be colored using the three colors excluding the color of the second strip and so on. Hence, in this way if we proceed, then in the first situation we have the four option. In the second, third, fourth, fifth, remaining all we have total three options. That's why it is 4 cross 3 to the power 5 and this is the result. Now, how many committees of four persons with a given chair person can be selected? from 10 persons. So, since the chair person can be any one of the 10 persons, therefore, he can be selected in 10 ways. The remaining 3 persons are to be selected from the remaining 9 persons. This can be possible in 9p3 ways. Hence, the required number of committees are 10 for the first choice and the 9p3 for the remaining 3 choices. That's why this is the result. Next it is, out of 7 consonants and 4 vowels, how many words can be made, each containing 3 consonants and 2 vowels? 7 consonants given, 4 vowels given. 
we are supposed to form a word where three consonants are there and two vowels are there so three consonants can be chosen from seven consonants in seven three seven c three ways and two vowels can be chosen from four vowels in four c two ways now the number of combined group each contains three consonants and two vowels is seven c three cross four c two hence the result but again each of this group contains five letters which may be arranged among themselves that's why this five letters can be arranged five factorial ways so this is the combination and after that this is the arrangement that's why the total number is this one in the next question it is in how many how many ways a committee of five members can be selected from seven men and five women consisting of three men and two women just exactly the previous one we will do the three men can be chosen from six men in 6c three ways and two men can be chosen from five women in 5c two ways that's why the total number is this one here the uh, permutation is not there that means only the committee is forming that's why this is the this first in previously after formation of the word its arrangement is also important that's why this one is multiplied next one is in how how many ways can five different subjects be arranged in six periods of a class so for that if we arrange five subjects in six periods then one subject must be kept twice if a particular subject is arranged twice then they can be arranged in six periods in six factorial by two factorial ways because six is the total number of periods and they are one subject repeated two times that's why 6 factorial by 2 factorial and this is the total answers therefore five different subjects are arranged in six period of classes in 5 cross 6 30 number of ways because five different subjects are there we can do this same thing for the all five subjects that's why five should be multiplied here next and the last question is here is in how many ways can a six beads of different colors be arranged to form a necklace so if no restriction is made between the clockwise and anti clockwise then the necklace means it is the circular arrangement then the number of different circular arrangement is 1 by 2 in minus 1 factorial so that it is 5 factorial by 2 factorial hence it is 16 so this is the problems on permutation and combinations there are so many more problems exist so in our next lecture we discuss on the binomial theorem which one is the continuation of the combinatrix or the coefficients you can see so that's all for today keep watching do like and subscribe my channel so that i am really motivated thank you